make a, a statement in her final home game. No other surprises for Northwestern. Drew right at Libero as per usual. Summers up the middle along with Hill and Reed and Hazan on the outside with Amaya Rousseau as the starting setter. Let's take a look at Rutgers now. Another typical lineup for the Scarlet Knights. One of the youngest lineups in the country. Average age of Rutgers lineup is 19.2 years old. Three freshmen, two sophomores, and two juniors in this group. Yeah, and Schweighoffer seems excited about that youth, trying to build up this program into future years and really develop something in New Jersey. Well, we asked Coach Schweighoffer, is that the youngest average age in the Big Ten? She said, well, if it's not, I'd love to see who is. Obviously not a stat that is completely widely kept, but this Rutgers team, so young, so much growing for them to do over the rest of this season and, and, the, and the course of the next one or two. Mentioned only two seniors being honored for Rutgers today. Kinkula, who is technically a redshirt junior, and Eche Amrula, the middle blocker. So yeah. Northwestern in the all-white. Tops with the purple bottoms. Purple libero jersey for Drew Wright. Rutgers in the red on top, black on bottom. Black libero jersey for Kenzie Deerstead. Yeah, it'll be up to Rutgers to see if they can make a statement tonight. Obviously, neither team has really had the season they wanted, but they're both trying to end the season with a statement win. Yeah, it couldn't be more well said there, Gabe. Rutgers looking for their first Big Ten win of the season. What would be their 14th in their 11-year run in the conference? Ryland Reed rising, gets the first kill off high hands on the left side pin. And Ryland Reed, such a ferocious, ferocious hitter, really goes in. Sometimes it's too far out, but she was able to keep this one in. She's been playing more of a six rotation hitter role in these last couple of matches. We'll get into her newfound digging prowess soon as Rutgers gets their first attack. It's out wide for Byzantine. Wipes it off the hands, but Hazan has it covered. Ariel Amaya just wide, trying to go down the line. Yeah, Ariel Amaya got a little trigger happy there, couldn't quite keep it in. It'll be her third error of the season, but nonetheless, you gotta like seeing her starting out there today. Absolutely. Amaya, the senior out of Plainfield, Illinois, local product, getting the start on senior day, and there's an ace! Byzantine bringing some firepower to one Rutgers. Yeah, Ryland Reed just couldn't quite get the right angle on it, went off her hands. Lexi Visentine Jr. plays both roles an outside hitter and defensive specialist. On the tape, no just out long for Visentine. So she follows up an ace with an error, and it's two to two. Yeah, right as we were talking about that prowess, that, that, those service aces that we'd seen, maybe willed it into existence a little with that error. Absolutely, you can blame me, no doubt. <laughs> Carter rotates in. Lauren Carter, the second setter in this modified 6-2 Northwestern plays. Swing through the middle, so low blocked by Summers. Nothing doing for Zora Hardison. Yeah, Summers really making her presence known. Her final year of eligibility as a grad student and has been lethal at the net. Well, the story's been told, but Sophia Summers, they found her at a coffee shop, was done with her career in Washington, didn't think she'd play any more college volleyball. Tim Nolan added her to this team. She's been such a useful part of this Northwestern squad celebrating senior day today. Reed with a nice rhythm swing inside out, down into the corner. Yeah, Ryland Reed, no stranger to the Illinois crowd. Mother played at Eastern Illinois, now her at Northwestern. And the junior out of Rolling Meadows, of course, came back home after starting her career at Florida Gulf Coast, or closer to home at least. Hardison can't put away the free ball. Here's Reed again. Doug, good hands by Jesuits. King Killa's first swing is blocked. She gets another try. And Russo has it covered. Carter for Reed. One more time. Blocked back. King Killa combines with Zora Hardison. And you're going to be seeing a lot of King Killa tonight for Rutgers. Big Ten Player of the Week earlier this year, the first in Rutgers history since they moved over to the Big Ten back in 2014. She's been so impressive over the course of her Rutgers career. Just seven kills away from reaching the top 10 all time in program history and kills. That's including both eras of volleyball as the Wildcats get a point through Sophia Summers. It's been all Summers and Reed so far, hasn't it, Noah? Absolutely. 
And now Reed back to serve, 21 and 22, right next to each other on the numbers. Providing plenty of production in the early going. Here's Kinkle on the back set. And the block attempt comes out, it's her first kill. Alyssa Kinkala out to a good start offensively. Yeah, what can you say about Kinkala that hasn't already been said? Just absolutely dynamite. Back to serve for the Scarlet Knights, Ali Borellis, the other setter in the 6-2 rotation that the Scarlet Knights primarily use with Bolin and Borellis. Overpass, first set for Borellis is out wide and put away in the end by Anna Hartman. Hart Anna Hartman is gonna be someone that does work in a little bit. Third in kills on the team, you know she won't be the main target, but you'll see a lot of Anna Hartman tonight. Borella serves again, going at right. Hazan delivers. Buse Hazan off to a quick start, her first swing. Gets her first kill. Six to five Northwestern with Summers back to serve now. Hazan wasting no time coming over to the Big Ten. She was first team all conference in the AAC. Nearly an overpass, saved and put away. What a job by Borellis on the one hand set and Avery Jesuits delivers. Yeah, a little tougher for Sophia Summers in the back row there. She's not someone that can, that can get down there for as many digs as some of the other players on this team. Doesn't often rotate through the back row. Did it just to serve there and now out of the game. Ryland Reed, Carter, up the middle for Hill. And Rutgers keeps it up. Excellent hands by Allie Dutton. And then a miscommunication for the Wildcats. And it's the Scarlet Knights with their second lead of this first set. Yeah, what an impressive dig there from Allie Dutton, the freshman, really making a name for herself. Defensive specialist. Here is Dutton again to serve, sitting at five foot four out of Lafayette, Indiana. And delivers an ace, just floats it on the line. Hazan thought it would go wide, it did not. Might have misheard her bench there on the call. Eight to six, Rutgers. With Dutton at the service line once more. Reed for Carter. Hill got all the right behind that one. Kennedy Hill really making a name for herself this season, having a real breakout year for Northwestern, whether that's blocks, whether that's on the kills. She's been excellent. We've got two of the top 10 in blocks in the Big Ten playing tonight. Haven't seen a block from either just yet. Byzantine just missed on the cross court swing. And you saw Kennedy Hill trying to prove you wrong there, going for the block, just missed it. She's seventh, you'll watch out for her tonight. Um, but there's also there's also some to be something to be said about Natalie Robinson on Rutgers in that regard. And Byzantine had to adjust to avoid Hill and missed it. Byzantine again. Stun handled by Wright. Hazan got it inside the block for her second kill. Wildcats back in front, three straight points for Northwestern. Make it a run on Alexa Russo's serve. Hazan, one of two players tonight from Istanbul. Unclear if they've played against each other before. Southpaw, fifth year, delivers down the line. Block touch, Rousseau dives in for the dig. Here's Amaya again. She gets her first kill tonight, and the bench lights up for Ariel Amaya. And what a fitting time to do it on senior night, her third kill of the season. Ariel Amaya coming up big so far. Rousseau with the Wildcats holding a two-point lead. Four straight points, three of them on the serve of Rousseau, drops the top, and Kennedy Hill takes care of the overpass. That short float serve for Alexa Rousseau creates an opportunity for Kennedy Hill. And you'll see Rousseau going back for another serve. Northwestern trying to build a little momentum here. They got a 5-0 scoring run. Rousseau again. Another overpass potentially, but it just does stay on the Rutgers side of things. Hazan off the bump set, and the Rutgers block gets involved. There's Natalie Robinson combining with Anna Hartman. You could hear that all the way back here. Wow, what a ferocious hit, and look at Natalie Robinson with that block. 
She's moved in now to a tie for fourth all time in blocks in a season. Tying Michaela Matthews. She's now one away from third. And Christina Gergovich, who put up 113 last year. Kenzie Deerstad serves short. Reed dives in. Hassan again. This time penetrates the block. And there's a reason Hazan is the kills leader on this team, Noah. You saw right there, and that's going to be something you'll see a lot more of tonight. Three kills with just a single error for Hazan. Transferred in from South Florida. One of two transfers from Florida universities on this Wildcat roster that are making big statements this season. Free ball across. Rousseau, Hill, can't put it away. Tough swing for Visitine, rejected Kennedy Hill with block 113 on the year. There are the blocks we were talking about with Kennedy Hill. These Northwestern middle blockers have carried them through some of the roughest stretches of this season. Hill moving into a tie for sixth now in the Big Ten in blocks. Tough line drive serve from Hazan, tooling the block. Zora Hardison delivers. And that will, that will end this little run that Northwestern's been on. Six to one. Rutgers is gonna try to make up the ground they've lost now down three. 13 to 10, Northwestern. Rutgers trying to work their way into this set. Still chasing three points. Lily Bolin rotating back into serve. Reed. Rousseau, Kennedy Hill up the middle, delivers her fourth point of the contest. Three kills on five swings for the junior. And you see Sophia Summers coming back into the game now for Hill, earning some much needed rest after that one. Drew Wright with the Cats up four. Kinkala up the middle this time. Not where she usually swings from through the Wildcats off a little bit to not see her at the opposite pin. And that's something you might see Schweighoffer work a little bit more of tonight, trying to mix up that lineup, keep the Cats guessing. See Kinkala come right through the middle on that ball, delivering her second kill of the contest. An overhand serve from Visitine, a lot of spin handled by the Wildcats. Deerstad with the dig. Kinkala again misses cross court. Yeah, Alyssa Kinkala showing a bit, showing that she's human a bit there. You're gonna have a few misses, but she's still been a big part of this Rutgers team. We've reached our media timeout. 15-11 Northwestern, they're the first to 15, and Rutgers has a deficit to make up. Wildcats rolling in the early going, as you see Kinkala just wide on this attack. We'll be right back with the rest of set one on Big Ten Plus. Rutgers looking to prove that they can get more than just one win against the Cats. And two teams that have found themselves in the bottom half of this conference more often than not since Rutgers entered in 2014. Both young squads trying to turn that narrative around as Lauren Carter serves long and gives the serve back to the Scarlet Knights. Chasing just three. The media timeout, I says Lauren Carter. We'll credit it to that. First service error of the contest for the Wildcats as Zora Hardison goes back to serve. The middle goes cross court, handled by Reed. Rousseau, first swing, just long from that right side pin. It's been interesting not to see Rousseau be as involved as she typically is in the game. That will change as it goes on, we can imagine, but Rousseau staying a little quiet so far for the Cats. Northwestern hasn't attacked much from that right pin, as was expected by Coach Schweighoffer as the serve goes long. She said, look, it's a Northwestern team that goes a lot from that outside spot, that left side pin, whereas we attack a lot from our right side with Kinkala on that opposite pin. Both teams have to be really good at defending each other's strong suit. So far, Northwestern's gotten the better of that exchange. Hazan into the net. Oh, pardon me, that's Rylan Reed. Second error on serve for Northwestern. Follows up the Rutgers service mistake. Yeah, that'll be her 20th service error of the season. Something that Ryland Reed, you know, has been overall a, a good server, but she does have those moments. 16-14 Northwestern. Things tightening up a bit here in set one. Neither coaches use a timeout just yet. 
Down the line to Hazan. Carter back to Hazan, blocked again. Natalie Robinson one more time, moving into third in program history for single season blocks. And she's no stranger to blocking. She led her high school conference in blocks three consecutive seasons, has wasted no time at Rutgers. And to be doing that as a true freshman, I mean, third in program history as a true freshman, really remarkable. Rousseau leaning back, got it off the tape. Robinson with a dig, adding to her arsenal. Rutgers scrambles it over. Now Carter for Rousseau, blocked again. Robinson combining with Jesuits that time. Northwestern's got to be a little disappointed there. You had the free ball, you had that moment to really capitalize, but there was the block right there. Moncat's really trying to feed Rousseau right now. Hasn't worked. Jesuits and Robinson, 6'3 and 6'4, get it done. But now another service error for Rutgers. Allie Borellis can't believe it. She thought that and caught that back line. Instead, it's a third service error. Yeah, Allie Burrell one of the more experienced players on this young Rutgers team as a junior. She came over from Ole Miss, was part of the all-freshman team in the SEC. Ryland Reed handles it out of the back row. Overpass, though, put away by Robinson. Bit of an awkward moment for Rutgers. They turn it into a point and tie it back up. Still no timeout so far in this set. 17 apiece. As we come down to the wire here. Back to serve for the Scarlet Knights. Allie Dutton one more time. Floats it at Reed. Hill! That's a beautiful set by Lauren Carter. And Kennedy Hill made no mistake. Yeah, found that perfect gap here in the near side corner. There was no one there on the Scarlet Knights. Rousseau to serve. The last time she was at the service line, the Wildcats won five consecutive points. Borellis back set. And the hands get just enough of that attempt from Hartman. Kennedy Hill pays it off again. Five kills in the first set for Kennedy Hill. Making it happen out of the middle. She's been really known for the block this year. Has had some big kill games, but this has been something this set. Rousseau floats it short. Amaya takes care of it on the overpass. And now the Wildcats are cruising. Yeah, Amaya only had two kills on the season going into tonight. She already has two more in this first set alone. Kalinson. And you see kind of the contrast. Robinson, the freshman, Hill, the junior, both have found ways to accomplish similar goals. Absolutely. And so impactful for their respective teams. As Lux Rousseau, once again, iced by the timeout. Northwestern's had two service errors. Coming directly off timeouts. Are both of those players going to continue climbing the leaderboard after today? As Robinson already has the three block assists. Back to serve again for Rutgers is Kenzie Deerstadt. Scarlet Knights could use a run on their libero serve. Hazan didn't take any chances. Kennedy Hill again! A thriller so far from Kennedy Hill. Six kills, and we're still about done with set one. And I feel like that's been a big part of Northwestern's offense as the season has gone on. They were very reliant on Hazan early in the season, but they've shown that there's a lot of people who can get the job done offensively. Especially they've used those middles plenty. Kennedy Hill, 165 kills coming into today as Hardison, her fellow middle, returns the favor. But the way that she has been the focal point of this offense so far in this set, we haven't seen that quite as much. You know, you alluded to it, Gabe. Northwestern has six different players averaging over a kill per set. Nobody averaging three or more kills per set. That's the area that Hill has really expanded into in this set number one. And part of that helps when you look at the roster. Not a lot of defensive-minded players. You see even Drew Wright converting to a libero. Ryland Reed. Off the block touch. Hardison tries again. Wildcats cannot quite save it. Two kills and two points for Zora Hardison. Yeah, Hardison, someone who's still somewhat new to this Rutgers team. You see she's a sophomore, but she didn't join the starting rotation until the final 10 or so games last season. Northwestern looking to respond. Off the serve of Bolin. 
Ryland Reed got it. Just chiseled the block, delivering it at a beautiful angle to force the block touch out of bounds. 22 to 20 Northwestern with Drew Wright to serve. You mentioned converted outside hitter. The sophomore libero out of Hermosa Beach, California. Here's Vizentine blocked back. Second chance for the Scarlet Knights. Vizentine again. Handled by Gigi Navarrete. Reed blocks back. Net play active right now on both sides. King Killen can't quite find the floor. Reed with the roll shot, not there. Byzantine, who can close the longest rally of the set. Reed goes for it and gets it off the touch. What a momentum swinging point for the Wildcats, up by three. And it will be another timeout from Caitlin Schweighoffer. Take another look at Ryland Reed delivering. Taking advantage of that block. Hands not quite high enough. Yeah, Ryland Reed proving to be a force for true with Shane Davis. Tim Nolan had a program that he had to take over, but you look at his entire coaching staff, everyone is in their first or second year. A young staff as well, something to be said for that vitality. Here's Byzantine, and there was a touch just on the block. Rutgers gets a much needed point. Lexi Byzantine has been a target for the Scarlet Knights in the early going here. That was her first kill on eight attacks, trying to get her going as she goes back to the service line. She's only fifth on this team in kills per set entering today. And Byzantine misses on that hard, top spin, heavy serve. And she does lead the team in service errors, does Lexi Byzantine. But that's also just from the amount that she served comparative to the rest of her team. And that serve, you know, it's a high risk, high reward serve. Exactly. The risk part of it showed up there. Set point for the Wildcats. Byzantine. Quick set to Hardison, taken care of. Ryland Reed blocked, roofed by Zora Hardison in combination with Alyssa Kinkala. Hardison second on second in blocks on this Rutgers team for a reason. Only a sophomore, but has made her presence known. Hardison is going to check out Schweighoff for not wanting to risk the set on her serve. Instead, she'll bring in Georgia Lee, the 6-1 sophomore setter out of Phoenix, cold to serve in this spot. A lot of pressure on Lee. She delivers a knuckleball at Reed. Summers dug, and then touch to the back row and on the line. What a job by Avery Jesuits. The feel for the freshman to find a kill. And Tim Nolan is gonna call timeout with his team up just one. Yeah, Tim Nolan wants it. Nice scramble place from Rutgers. Now Northwestern is gonna get a chance to set up a kill opportunity. We're gonna take another look here at that last point. You can see the diving dig from the Scarlet Knights and Lily Bolin, and then Jesuits delivering. Gabe, if you're Northwestern here, who are you setting up this play for? You got all your attacking options out there. Who are you setting to try to put this set away? We'll, well see is, which one of those options gets the set. It is senior night after all. He might be setting up this play for Rousseau in her fifth year, her little swan song with Northwestern tonight. Wildcats looking to close out set one. Lee to serve again. Reed for Carter. Goes for Summers instead. Another senior delivers it for the Wildcats. Sophia Summers clinches set one. A strong back row. Navarrete, sophomore out of Palos Heights, Illinois. Another local product for this Wildcat team. Byzantine, another attack. Can't quite get it to fall. Hardison from a strange angle delivers. Fourth kill for Zora Hardison. Yeah, bizarre angle there, as you were mentioning. You know, usually they try to tip it over. She kind of went a little halfway between a tip and a, and a hard hit. Not sure what to make of that, but it wound up in a Rutgers point. I think Rutgers will make of it one nothing. <laughs> but absolutely. Byzantine, again, the big swing. Again, just misses. If that was out, it was out by less than an inch. I mean, I'm looking right at it, and I'm not sure whether it hit the line or not. Schweighoffer told by her team to challenge. And she will. We'll see what we can see. 
that topspin serve game. So Mark Berman and Scott Prox on the lines. Getting a look there at Wager on the monitor. Trying to decide one way or the other. I'm gonna go out on a limb here, Gabe, and say it's gonna stand. I don't know why. I mean, if we, if for the purpose of our betting, maybe I'll, I'll say it goes out, I'll say they keep the call. Okay. So we're both agreeing on this one. We'll see if we got it right, and we did. Look at that. All right. Totally guessed randomly, and we're both one for one. That's, uh, that's excellent for us. So 1-1 one, one in the set as well. As Summers back to serve for the second time today. The fifth year delivers the back row. And a big time kill for who else but Kinkala. 2-1 Rutgers. Yeah, despite a Rutgers team that struggled, Kinkala has gotten a lot of recognition. Second team all Big Ten last year and she's wasted no time. One of the best opposite hitters in the conference, it really must be said, Alyssa Kinkala. Pider trade now at Rutgers for three seasons as Kennedy Hill delivers kill number seven and forces an attempted resuscitation on the sidelines of Cleo Harden. Looks like she's okay. Two to two as Lauren Carter goes back to serve. Through the middle and there's the first kill for Natalie Robinson. Wildcat defense not ready for it. Yeah, you know, we've been talking about Natalie Robinson's blocks, but she's not to be underestimated on, on the kill side of things. That's her 116th on the season. It's Rutgers team, you mentioned it earlier, Gabe, done a really good job of allowing a lot of different players to get in on the action. Team with six different players, over 100 kills. Rylan Reed from the 10-foot line. Finds only the hands of the block. Tapped across by Robinson, only into the hands of Rousseau. Tries again, Hill blocks it back this time. One more swing for Jesuits. What a dig by Navarrete. The Wildcats can't quite save it. Rutgers has come out of the gates strong here in set number two. Four to two, Scarlet Knights as you take another look. At the Jesuits kill. That was her 170th. And Reed returns the favor, slicing through the air to deliver that cross court. And we see Hazan coming in for Navarrete. Hazan into the game, Rylan Reed once again into the kill column, her 163rd of the season. And looking for an ace to go with it. Rutgers having to scramble. They'll play the free ball across. Carter for Hill. Didn't get it across the net. I yeah. don't think Kennedy Hill was expecting that bump set from Lauren Carter. Sometimes you can just try to take it a little too passive, try to tip it over, but it seems there was some sort of miscommunication between the Wildcats there. Absolutely. Taking another look at it here. You can see Hill setting up. Yeah, it looked like she thought that ball was gonna be farther to her left and a little bit farther back as well. Carter tries Hill one more time, blocked! Ready for it at the net, we're Natalie Robinson. And now Kennedy Hill down and in some pain, that's not a good sign for Northwestern. Or they were tending to her left leg. Hill in obvious pain, she's departed. We are back to action here in Evanston with Northwestern trailing six to three in set two, Hill exits with seven kills to lead all players, along with a block tonight. Hope that the junior can make as quick of a recovery as possible. And Lauren Carter sets Alexa Rousseau, another block for Rutgers. Natalie Robinson combining once again with Lexi Byzantine. And it's a great start to this second set for the Scarlet Knights. Sarah Griffith has come into the game in the middle for Northwestern on senior night. She's celebrating as well. And the Wildcats trail it by four. And now five, an ace to the back line. And Rutgers really getting into the flow of things now. It's the second ace for Allie Dutton. Yeah, Rutgers coming out strong so far in the second half. 
with Northwestern's newly formed rotation. Dutton. And now Hazan on the cross court swing, couldn't find the floor. Pushed and Carter diving in to make the dig. Slides on the net tape, Rousseau with the handle. Hazan on the tip shot, couldn't find the floor. Another chance for Byzantine. Cars through the Northwestern back line. Nine to three, Rutgers. And Tim Nolan is gonna take a timeout. The Scarlet Knights all over the Wildcats here in set number two. Absolutely, Noah. You see Northwestern trying to find a way. You see now this new, he's an assistant coach at USC and Pepperdine, both of which he also attended. He has a familiarity with the West Coast to be sure. And won a plenty of games when he was the assistant coach at USC. They made a couple of NCAA tournaments. Obviously still feeling the recent loss of Kennedy Hill right there from his lineup. And obviously he was showing, showing some emotion as well with Hill on the floor as we see Caitlin Schweighoffer in her fifth season with Rutgers. It's been a long, slow rebuild with the Scarlet Knights. Schweighoffer thinks she's on the verge of really helping turn this program around. Yeah, her first head coaching job at a power conference. As Busse Hassan rises for a big kill out of the timeout. This Rutgers team, a win today would go so far for them. There would be their first Big Ten win for Octo since October of 2023. They would love to notch a W in the column against the Wildcats. And Drew Wright misses long on the serve. Error number four in that department for the Wildcats were still without an ace. Yeah, you thought it might be Drew Wright. You know, 24 service aces on the season. She's been formidable, but can't get it done there. Here comes Kenzie Deerstad, goes at Hazan. Carter for Rousseau, beautiful touch, but covered on the back end by Dutton and paid off by Anna Hartman. Rutgers in control, 11 to four in set two, one of the largest leads they've had in any set this season. Hoping to continue to pile on the pressure with Deerstad. Goes at Summers. Gets it back, and Summers can't find the floor. What a save from Rutgers. Another try, and this time, the Washington transfer delivers. Yeah, Summers able to get it done this time for the Cats. She's going to be big now with Kennedy Hill's departure if Northwestern, is one, if Northwestern wants to win this game. Ariel Amaya enters. Alexa Rousseau back to serve. Back set for Hartman, and two kills and three points for Anna Hartman. Sophomore out of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Now up to three kills for the contest. Hartman, a woman of many talents, also coaches Little League. It's very impressive. How about this Rutgers team continuing to spread out the kills game? Seven players with multiple kills already for the Scarlet Knights. They have rotated heavily. Continue to deliver on those rotations. Lily Bolin entering the set. Wagner took the serve, and Hazan, her third kill of the set, the only Wildcat hitter who's really got it going right now. Yeah, interesting to see the junior coming through on senior night, but Hazan has been big for the Cats. Absolutely. Was on her first year with this Northwestern program. First team all AAC in her previous stop at South Florida. And delivers a dig right here. Summers dug by Dutton. Kinkilla, beautiful touch on that shot. Her fourth kill. It's a name we haven't heard in a while. Kinkilla coming back, showing that she, uh, she still's got a lot of fight left. Seven-time consecutive Australian Volleyball League championships for Kinkilla. Model of consistency. Absolutely, that's very impressive. Big throw for Byzantine, and she misses long. Third service error of the contest for Lexi Byzantine. 
Stacey Byzantine, honorable mention All-American back in high school. She's showing plenty of that power today. She's had a bit of a hard time reining it in as Summers responds with a service error of her own and will exit for Drew Wright. Northwestern just can't get a foothold in this set. Every time they score a point, Rutgers has responded. That side out percentage for the Scarlet Knights approaching 70 all day long. Zora Hardison. Rousseau for Reed. And Ryland Reed back into the kill column. Wildcats continuing to try to make it work with these modified lineups. Sarah Griffith rotating in the spot that Kennedy Hill was manning for the first set in the start of the second. Carter gets the nose down, handled by Byzantine. Wildcats having a scramble. They'll play the free ball across. Through the middle, Robinson dug by Navarrete. Reed dug by Jesuits. King Killa. Nobody can put it on the floor until Avery Jesuits delivered. Big time from the Minnesota native. Yeah, Avery Jesuits, a top 100 player in her class, according to Prep Dig. You can see some of that natural talent coming through right there. That's an awkward ball to try to kill. She delivered, wrapping that right hand around it. 15-8, Rutgers in set two. Russo through the middle. What a dig by Deerstad. Jesuits again. Handled by Reed. Set from Byzantine. Russo dives in. Reed blocked back. Another try for the Wildcats with Ryland Reed. This time makes no mistake. That'll be her seventh kill of the game. Ryland Reed, what a force. Wildcats still chasing six in this second set. Rutgers has won just seven sets in Big Ten play, just three since the month of October began. Gonna change that trend line. And another service error from the Wildcats will help them. Rutgers has taken sets off some very strong opponents. Michigan on the road, Washington on the road. They've battled this year with some good teams. Yeah, they're a team that, you know, the home field advantage doesn't seem to intimidate them as much as some others. Oren Carter looking for Busse Hazan. Can't deliver the kill. Byzantine. And Rousseau on the response, and Alexa Rousseau gets her first kill. And Drew Wright with a great bump set there in the front. Coming in as the libero, usually you see her staying in the back, but she came in and made that play her own. Second assist for Drew Wright to go along with five digs, Rousseau. Has 12 assists and seven digs. Going for Byzantine. That is beautiful. Ali Borellis on the excellent set, and Lexi Byzantine paying it off. 17 to 10. And Tim Nolan is going to take his fucking best players all season. And she went down after landing on that kill attempt. You can see immediate pain there. We've been told she will not return for the remainder of this game with a lower body injury in game. Obviously, she makes such a difference to this squad. Indeed, Noah. And you've seen her really make her pave her own path as the season has gone on. Started out a little quieter, but you look at tonight, seven kills. She's still the kills leader uh, of the evening. And with a 4-5-5 five, five hitting percentage, her presence will be missed. Meanwhile, Northwestern trying to find a way to manufacture a run against Rutgers. They haven't ba been able to string some serves together, although they'll get another chance here. Pass to the service error from Neerstad. Gabe, what do the Wildcats have to do to create a little bit of momentum? Yeah, I think it might be on this serving run. 
You know, you've seen the, the real way they broke out in that first set was that 5-0 serving run, then that 3-0 serving run. And it's Alexa Rousseau, the one who was at the helm for those last ones. Rousseau with another tough serve. Rutgers out of system. Rousseau will get a shot for Hazan. And indeed, a service run may be beginning as Bousset Hazan finds kill number six. And you see that team effort. Rousseau with the serve, Hazan, and you see Ariel Amaya back into the game now. She's had a wonderful game so far. Lily Wagner as well in the back. Rousseau, another knuckleball. Handled that time, but missed down the line by Hartman. Rousseau served it at Borellis to get Rutgers just to touch out his system, and it paid off. Alexa Rousseau, another 3-0 run behind the Wildcats' fifth-year setter. Borellis through the middle, and that'll take care of that. Zora Hardison makes no mistake. 18 to 13, Rutgers. As they try to close out a rare set win, Scarlet Knights have not won a match all year that did not come in sweet form. They haven't played well, trying to come from behind in spots like these. Trying to change that here tonight. Lily Bolin, overpass from Hassan, punished by Byzantine. A Northwestern team that has played a lot of really close sets this season. You look back at their games and you see a lot of, you know, 27, 28, 29 point sets. Right now they're down six. They might have to try to push into one of those if they want to win the second set. Catherine Randorf out of the floor for the first time today. Playing that opposite hitter role typically for the Wildcats. Serve comes right at her. Great pass to Rousseau. Hazan dug off, and it came off of the underside of the video board and went over the net. If it stays on the same side of the net, no problem, but the ball cannot come off the underside of the video board and go across the net. That results in a point for Northwestern. Yeah, hey, you know, one of those moments you only see once or twice per game, but it's always an interesting conundrum. 19 to 14, Rutgers with Hazan to serve. Tough low serve handled by Deerstadt. On the slide, what a delivery. Down the line from Hardison. Six kills on just nine swings for the sophomore out of Palm Bay, Florida. And when you're looking at the point, I think Deerstad was the hero. That was a really tough dig that she was able to, to dig out on that one. Excellent reception from Deerstad. And now Visentine to serve, goes for the big swing again. Off the tape this time. Ryland Reed. This time, Randorf delivers on the right side. Her first kill. Catherine Randorf, someone who's had her bit of inconsistencies this season, came on more as Hazan was out for a few games. And, you know, Randorf's attacking percentage isn't the highest, but she can come through in spots like that. Summers goes a deer stat. King Killa delivers. Rutgers relentlessly targeting Sophia Summers when she has stayed in to serve and played out of the back row. And Alyssa Kinkilla gets another kill off of that combination. You got to imagine that was part of Schweighoffer's philosophy going into this game. When you have those middle blockers in the back row, that's the area you want to aim for. I'd imagine she set up her offense that way. Overpass, rare mistake from Drew Wright on serve receive. Rutgers takes advantage and now the Scarlet Knights Close to closing it out. 22-15 with Hardison at the service line. And she goes long. Well, if the Wildcats want to make, it, uh, make a run, they needed to start now behind the serve of Lauren Carter. And you heard the screaming from the Northwestern faithful behind us. No, it seems they may be starting to get behind this team. Might have made a slight impact on that service error. As Carter delivers long, on the line! An ace for the Wildcats. Rutgers seems very confident it was long. I'm not sure Schweighoffer is gonna go for the challenge card here. And she will not, in fact. 22-17. So is cemented as Carter's seventh ace of the season. And this time right in the middle of the net. Northwestern had to put pressure on Rutgers there, just unable to. 
23-17, Rutgers. Schweighoffer wanted to know how many subs she has left. The answer is three. And so she'll use two of those three right here to try to close out set two. Yeah, just two points left for Rutgers before they seal it. Schweighoffer is playing all her cards. Borellis. And Carter called off Griffith right there. Not sure that was the wisest course of action. It results in another ace. And now Borellis looking for set point. Four aces for the Scarlet Knights and just one for Northwestern. Carter for Reed. The Scarlet Knights for the set. And Natalie Robinson closes it, 25-17. Rutgers' biggest set win of the Big Ten season. Willie Bolin starts things off with the serve. Out of system, the Wildcats play the free ball. Bolin through the middle, and Hardison can't deliver. Hazan off the bump set. Didn't get a piece of a Rutgers player, it did not. one nothing Scarlet Knights. Just the third attack error for Busse Hazan. Wildcats have really struggled to get their offense working consistently since Hill's departure. You see Lily Bolin in to serve. And Bolin again. Randorf off the bump set. Two for two for Catherine Randorf. The answer for the Wildcats may be to get her more involved. Yeah, Catherine Randorf, the Shagrin Falls, Ohio native. She's been inconsistent at times during her Northwestern career, but when she's been on, she has really been on. Excellent save for the Wildcats, but another chance for Rutgers here. King Kille is blocked. Summers, Kazan combines with Musay Hazan. Yeah, Hazan, you know, you may look at her stats, just immediately be drawn to those kills, those service aces, but she's a very well-rounded player. That's her 38th block on the year. You know, for a player who stands just 5'11", really impressive how far up she can get on the net. Here she gets the dig, doing it all. And the kill as well! Busse Hazan, a kill, block, and a dig in the span of about 15 seconds. Yeah, maybe there's two Swiss Army knives on this Northwestern offense. Absolutely. Hazan and Randorf have been the engines for Northwestern. They lead three to one in set three. Rousseau on the dig. Hazan again, roofed. That time Rutgers saw it coming, and Hardison shrugs as if to say, who else on the block? Yeah, the little, little celebration from Hardison was fun there. Rutgers with a big response. They've outblocked Northwestern eight to three so far today. And an ace. They've now outaced the Wildcats 5-1. It's been really feast or famine for Lexi Byzantine. She's got two aces with four errors from the service line. Going for another this time, Wright's there. Hazan again, not that time. Rutgers nearly caught reaching over the net there. Kinkilla gets away with it. Music goes in the middle of the point. And Kinkilla earns the kill as the Wildcats couldn't keep it up. We had a little musical chairs moment. They weren't sure whether they had to sit down or, or what was happening. Melissa Kinkilla, six kills on the match now. Three straight points off the serve of Byzantine. Uso for Randorf. Couldn't end the run. Oh, could have been called for a carry there. Instead, it's a kill for Hardison. Looks like she might have held on to that a little, but 5-3, Scarlet Knights. And it doesn't seem like we're going to see any sort of challenge on the play. Well, that's not a play that can be overturned yeah, on replay. Exactly. Unfortunately for Tim Nolan. Randorf keeps it up after the overpass. Hazan again. Busse Hazan up to nine kills on just 18 attacks. Two hundred and fifty kills for the season. 
the outside hitter. And it is Istanbul and Turkey. Jesuits dug by right. Another chance for Hazan, and she's blocked again. Hardison, three blocks. And that's been the big difference this game for Rutgers. You see them leading now, and the, the big thing that helped to turn the tide, nine blocks for Rutgers, just three for Northwestern. And a lot of times off these long bump sets, Wildcat hitters are going for big swings instead of just trying to get the ball over. It's playing right into the hands of this Rutgers block. It's the a error for Hardison. You know, it's one of those real strengths for this Rutgers team game. They average 2.2 blocks per set, only .1 behind their counterparts. They have delivered at the net today. Hazan to the back row, handled by Deerstad. King Killa is now tied for 10th in Rutgers history in kills. Yeah, Kinkala in her years at Rutgers has proven to be a force. She does have one more year of eligibility left after this season, but she will be graduating. And yeah, that 10th all time number game includes non-rally scoring, non-rally scoring era players. It's remarkable what she's been able to do. Reed, just why? And Rutgers is starting to take control of set three now. Northwestern led three to one at one point. It's now eight to five, Scarlet Knights. Yeah, as the game goes on, Rutgers starts to see the snap of that losing streak in sight. Carter through the middle, Summers. That's a run stopper. Via Summers trying to get Northwestern jump started here. And while she is a great server, you've got to watch for that back corner again. You've seen Schweighoffer target that when Summers is in the back row. Rutgers in system, and they will go towards Summers. Instead, Navarrete handles the dig. Reed on the other end. Ryland Reed flying through the air. Wildcats back within one. Sophia Summers once more. This time Summers targeted. Oh, we had a net violation on the Wildcats. Alexa Rousseau called our first net violation of the contest. Yeah, right as Summers came through with that big dig, there was another call on the field that limited it. And now she'll be subbing out Drew Wright, the libero will be coming in, as well as Gigi Navarrete. Very strong back defensive row. Well, both Rucker centers have been excellent. Lily Bolin, 15 assists so far. Morales just nine, but she's starting to work this offense a little better as Rousseau delivers kill number two out of that right side. That's surprising to see Rousseau with only two kills on the night. Remember, if you're new to watching the Wildcats, they'll rotate Rousseau through as a setter in the back row, and then when she comes to the front row, plays on that right side. Haven't targeted her as much in that role today. Occasionally, she'll rotate all the way through, but has mostly done the latter as Natalie Robinson delivers her fifth kill. Scarlet Knights continue to just stop all Northwestern momentum in its tracks. They lead by two. Kenzie Deerstep. Floats it short for right. Rousseau for Randorf on the slide. What a block. Zora Hardison continues to have a massive impact today. Yeah, again, we're seeing these underclassmen step up in the senior game. Hardison, the sophomore, leads Rutgers in kills alongside Alyssa Kinkilla. 11-8. Rousseau, long bump set, tough angle for Randorf. Kept it in play. Hardison. Griffith got a touch. Randorf! And Rutgers able to save this. It looks like Byzantine gets it across. Ryland Reed. This time, nothing the Scarlet Knights can do. 
and what a great job from Northwestern keeping that pressure on. You saw Randorf really earn Northwestern that free ball and then Ryland Reed came through. Nine kills apiece for Reed and Hazan right now to lead the Wildcats. Lead all hitters actually. Reed serving long, handled. Blocked back from the Wildcats. Another chance for Northwestern with Randorf. Rutgers out of system. And a net violation on Northwestern again. This time Sarah Griffith on forced errors from Northwestern. It's just a little bit of sloppy volleyball being played so far in the third half, or the third set, sorry, for Northwestern. Okay, Killa comes back into the game for the Scarlet Knights. Back to serve. His bowling again. Scarlet Knight offense has run just a little more efficiently with Lily Bolin back there than Ali Borellis. But Bolin makes the service there. Yeah, Bolin entering the game had more aces than errors, but that might change tonight. Bolin, the true freshman out of Lebanon, Ohio. Standing at just 5'7". Back row setter. He's had an excellent freshman season. Here she delivers to Hardison on the slide, but misses by plenty. A rare iteration of back-to-back -back points for Northwestern. Twelve, eleven, Rutgers with Drew right into serve. Knuckled a little, but handled. Not the cleanest touch by Rousseau. What a diving effort from Ryland Reed to keep the point alive. Bolin, Byzantine. Wow, she got on top of that one. A Byzantine coming through, having her presence shown in this game. 17 total attacks, that's gonna be her sixth kill. She may only stand six foot nothing, but the attacker out of Houston, Texas, can really get on top of that ball. Rousseau for Randorf. Using some touch. Three kills for Katherine Randorf. And what a performance from Randorf tonight. Very, uh, not necessarily typical from her, the three kills on nine attempts. You know, you've seen her with the lowest attacking percentage of these Northwestern hitters on the season, trying to turn the tide as we near the end. Lauren Carter, on cross court to the back corner. King Killa, what a dig by right on the overhead. But another chance for the Scarlet Knights off the free ball. Through the middle, Hardison couldn't get much of it. Mousse Hazan, first swing in a while. Nearly found the floor. Another dig from right. Going on two, Carter. Couldn't get it on the dump. And delivering is Jesuits. Avery Jesuits, his first kill of the set. Avery Jesuits, no stranger to winning a state champion over in Minnesota. Not an easy state to win a state championship in. Certainly not. Zora Hardison has had such a great night so far. Seven kills, four blocks, three digs for the middle. Forces an overpass. And Lauren Carter reached too far to try to save that ball. 15-12 Rutgers. And that'll be our media timeout. Rutgers continuing to control set number three of the Wilds. Continuing to try to fight against the Scarlet Knights. Crowd getting a little loud. Trying to put pressure on this serve from Zora Hardison. Lauren Carter pushes it out for Buse Hazan. Block was ready for Rutgers. They've read Northwestern's attacks exceptionally well all evening. Hazan again, tools the block this time. Double digit kills for Buse Hazan. Tim Nolan really trying to come out of the break strong. Northwestern cuts the lead to two and that's the person you want in the free zone if you're going to make a run. Buse Hazan, the team leader in service aces. Hazan going deep and forcing a mistake from Rutgers. Northwestern wanted a call. Sophia Summers and Alex Rousseau not confident in 
that not being an infraction. I think Tim Nolan might challenge here. I think they thought there was some net contact for Rutgers. Not sure exactly what they saw, but Nolan is not going to use the challenge. And you so see Rutgers North gets the point. You see Northwestern unable to take advantage there. There was some miscommunication on the Rutgers side. You see Kenzie Deerstad and Lexi Byzantine off to the side, both falling down, running into each other. They had potentially some six on four play, but couldn't capitalize. And it was before that, right here, like the ball is what touched the net, not the hand. That's a good call by our chair umpire. Borellis serving long. Summers keeps her hand through it. 16-14, Scarlet Knights. Northwestern still chasing two. Trying to find a response. Dug by Navarrete. Reed. Delivers the tool kill. Just a little over our heads. Rylan Reed getting the spin on that one, getting a great angle. The Wildcats continuing to cut into the Rutgers lead. Hartman can't find the floor. And not sure what the call was in that situation, I think it but might have grazed the ceiling. Must have grazed the, must have grazed the underside the of the video Rutgers board. 17-15, Rutgers. Good call, Gabe. Carter for Rousseau. And the fifth year finds her third kill of the evening. Already a double-double for Alexa Russo with assists and digs, trying to get the attacking part of her game going. Yeah, and you see Alexa Russo with those double-doubles tied for sixth in the Big Ten this season in that stat. Searching for that ever-elusive triple-double, but she's got a long way to go for that one. Out of system swing for Hartman, can't find the floor. She'll take the dig. Byzantine blocked back. Hartman, no. And the Wildcats will get an opportunity. Rylan Reed. Northwestern never quitting on this set. They've evened it back up at 17. Yeah, Northwestern trailed for so long this set, finally regaining some composure. Going to keep that momentum going. Rousseau with another tough serve. She's been excellent at the service line all day, but Byzantine makes the best out of it and delivers a beautiful kill. And we see for Rutgers, Zora Hardison coming back into the game. She has been a force for the Scarlet Knights team, someone that you've got to watch if you're Northwestern. We're certainly excited to have her back in the lineup here. Randorf with a tip shot, covered very nicely by Borellis. Rylan Reed can't find the floor. Byzantine, no. Rare miss hit from Lexi Byzantine. Her first error since the first 15 points of the match. Wow, Byzantine just so strong on this offensive side. It'll be her 21st total attack. Still's got seven kills. Rylan Reed. Long run for Borellis, sets Byzantine. Block touch slows it down for Rousseau. Randorf just taps it over. Hardison just got a piece, and it was enough. Wildcats continue to struggle to defend the Scarlet Knights' middle. And look who it is for the Scarlet Knights, Alyssa Kinkella coming back into the game. 
looking to move alone into 10th place all time in Rutgers history and have even the set, have even the match in one set apiece is that block. Absolutely, no, and you see all these Rutgers players contributing. Usually you see one or two middle blockers coming through, but Hardison with four blocks. You see King Killa with three. Everyone up and down this Rutgers roster is coming through. Natalie Robinson with five. Melissa King Killa with her blocking today, even as an out opposite side hitter, moved through the most part of her career at Rutgers, has moved into eighth place in Rutgers history in both block assists and total blocks. And she's just part of the crew. Randorf blocks back. And the Rutgers block nearly and does have another one. Hardison with her fifth block of the contest. Byzantine's fourth. And what perfect timing to talk about blocks. It comes up right there and Northwestern's gonna have to mitigate that blocking game, find ways, whether that's tipping over the blockers, whether that's finding different angles. They just can't keep getting out blocked. The distribution's been a little bit too predictable as well. Hazan got it through the top of the block that time. Byzantine blocked back. Second try for the Scarlet Knights. King Killa handled by Wright. Griffith through the middle, not there. Hazan blocked again. King Killa gets another. So does Hardison. Speaks to this Rutgers defense. You know, Kaylin Schweighoffer had a tough crowd when she when she took over. It wasn't an easy program to come into, but just looking at her preparation for this game and how they've been able to predict Northwestern's attack so nicely has been a big part of this Rutgers success. Rousseau for Hassan. That block attempt comes off the pin. Wildcats get a much needed side out, but the Scarlet Knights still up two points. Drew Wright, a crucial serve right here. Into the net. Brutal service error from Drew Wright. Never really had a chance. And a timeout for Tim Nolan. His team is down 22 to 19. And we'll call it alongside Gabe Shumway here on Big Ten Plus. We've got the Wildcats trying to respond for the first time since September. Just three points away from doing so. And now Lexi Byzantine at the service line for Rutger. And we talked about it pregame. 13 and one Northwestern is all time against Rutgers. Rutgers trying to turn the tide and maybe turn their perspective in the Big Ten. And Byzantine, her fifth service error of the contest. A frustrating miss for Lexi Byzantine. The door open for Northwestern and Lauren Carter. Last time Carter was at the service line, she had an error of her own. She goes long, Deerstad handles it. King Killa down the line, just found the sideline there. Drew Wright let it go, but Alyssa King Killa had measured that beautifully, and she is now alone in 10th in Rutgers history and kills. We've seen a lot of these close calls tonight. Northwestern has had good eyes so far, knowing when to let it go, but a little lapse in judgment from Drew Wright on that one. King Killa climbing up the leaderboard in the rally era as well as Summers fits it into the block and Rutgers can't save it. Wildcats maintaining that two point deficit but they're gonna have to make a service run. You see a little mistake from Lily Bolin, Lily Bolin, that's a mouthful on that one. Trying to get it over but goes straight into the net. Hazan. And a mistake from Byzantine. First service ace for Busse Hazan. And the Wildcats are within a point. And yeah, that's her 30th on the season, coming in, getting it to a nice even round number. Getting the spin going there for Hazan. A tough pass for Byzantine, got it. Now Kinkilla blocks back. Another chance for Rutgers. Kinkilla again, handled by Rousseau, Carter. Reed tools the block. The Wildcats have evened it, and Welsh Ryan erupts. Time out, Rutgers. You can hear the crowd just exploding at Welsh Ryan Arena. It's really starting to feel palpable, the possibility of a win in this third set for Northwestern. 
Well, both teams just two points away. Who will close the show here in set three? It was Rutgers controlling this one all the way through, but the Wildcats have responded and even things up in the third set. Say Hazan, the junior herself, serving into that group for Northwestern. They've won back-to-back -back points on her serve. The Wildcats on a 3-0 run. Hazan goes after Byzantine. Through the middle! And Summers just misses that block opportunity. A big-time kill for Natalie Robinson. And we see Gigi Navarrete coming back into the game for Northwestern. The Wildcats have to have a side out here against Ali Borellis, who enters for Bolin to serve. Big front line for Rutgers. All three players at 6'2 or taller. Ryland Reed, Carter. For Summers through the middle, Rutgers keeps it alive. An opportunity for the set for Jesuits, and she delivers it. Rutgers responds, and the Scarlet Knights close out set three. They're just a set away from their first Big Ten win of the season. Runs. And floats it short, handled there by Byzantine. And another kill for Zora Hardison, approaching double digits. And Drew Wright not close enough on that one to get there. She's been a big presence, though, as the libero this season. You saw Ellie Stinson's departure to Texas A&M being a big loss for Northwestern, but they've been able to find someone like Wright to fill that gap. Byzantine, sixth error from the service line today for Lexi Byzantine. I think Rutgers will take that trade off a lot of the time with how tough she has served. We're going to see a challenge now once again Second time Rutgers has challenged a visit team serve to see if it hit the back line. First time they lost it, we'll see if anything changes in try number two. It's a very delicate balance between these aces and errors. Sometimes it can come down to the smallest of margins. In this case, Schweighoffer is hoping that the margins go towards the Scarlet Knights. No doubt about it. Rutgers just looking to tip the balance here. Hoping to take a 2-0 lead early in set four. They're approaching a season high in blocks. 12 blocks already, their season high is 14. Been a good blocking team all year, but this has been at another level as we see right there. Certainly looked from that angle like the serve was, oh man, that's close. I was Didn't right on the line. the line. Might be a little beyond it, tough to see for sure. We have another angle on the play. They are going to call it in for Rutgers. Yeah, based on the looks we had, certainly looks like it was in and Byzantine, instead of another error, finds another ace. That's where that trade-off can really be worth it. It's her third service ace of the contest. Rutgers getting into it, and Byzantine again! Back-to-back -back aces for the junior. Four of them today. And yeah, Northwestern just not getting anyone into those zones. Not sure whether they thought it was just going to be out or whether they couldn't get there at all, but nonetheless, it's resulted in two Byzantine aces. Not a third, but the Wildcats are out of system. Reed gets it over, but a chance for Rutgers. And Jesuits delivers again. Four straight points to start set four. Rutgers is in control. And this Northwestern team seems to be losing a bit of energy. You see them watching a lot more of these, and no, one, no one's quite diving on the ground just yet. Byzantine into the net. Her 65th service error of the season. To go along with 35 aces, not bad. Yeah, it's just that gross amount of attempts has been her, her burden if you look at the errors. And a lot of her serves end in either an ace or an error. 
Byzantine dives in for the reception. Hardison again. Double figure kills for Zora Hardison. Hardison to serve. What an evening it has been for the sophomore out of Palm Bay, Florida. 6-2 middle blocker. He's looking like the best player on the floor for a large swaths of this evening. Hussein Hassan with the response, tied for the overall lead in kills tonight with 12. Wildcats trying to get some energy into this team, trailing five to two in set four. Drew right on the knuckler, handled by Byzantine. Rousseau with her 15th dig. Randorf blocked! Oh my goodness, Natalie Robinson again, block number six. And tonight especially, there's just been a struggle to find consistency among these Northwestern attackers. You see last season, Julia San Giacomo is really their go-to, but this season when you have a lot of players, Tim Nolan's been mixing around, you know, there isn't really one go-to person. Robinson continuing to climb up, climb up that single season blocks leaderboard. Wants another here, but Hazan beats the block and keeps it in down the line. Six to three. Northwestern looking for a run behind Lauren Hunter. Lauren Carter coming back in to serve as well. Mother played volleyball at SMU. And Carter, pardon me, serving. And Jesuits, these block touches have not kept the ball clean for Northwestern very often today. And Jesuits delivers again. And what efficiency from Jesuits, a 562 attacking percentage tonight. That is unbelievable. Six Scarlet Knights with at least four kills. Five with at least six. And Jesuits, nine to 16 as you mentioned, Gabe. Hazan wasn't ready for it. And double contact. So an error for Buse Hazan, who didn't approach that commensurate with the set from Lauren Carter. Wildcats really in a hole. Ali Dutton, who's played a huge role as an offensive specialist off the bench tonight. Rousseau, what a tough swing around her shoulder for her fourth kill. Rousseau does not want Northwestern to lose on senior night, trying to draw them back in. Looks to Rousseau putting up video game numbers. Four kills, 21 assists, 15 digs for the fifth year. Boussey Hazan. Off the tape, handled. Byzantine. Hazan gets there. And another miscommunication from the Wildcats. Rousseau a little late getting over. Rutgers gets another point out of it. And the ball was right in front of Summers. You'd think Summers would take a step forward. Rousseau called, we've mentioned, but they'll try to close out a few more wins on the road before the careers are over for some of these Northwestern seniors. Kenzie Deerstad. As the Scarlet Knights continue to press their advantage, Ryland Reed, great up by Rutgers. Off the block touch. Another chance for Northwestern. Rousseau wants Reed one more time. Blocked again. Oh, will the Wildcats keep it alive? until Rousseau puts it in the net. Yeah, Rousseau from around the middle of Northwestern side of the court, trying for an aggressive hit, but was a little too far away. Rutgers in double figure points already in set four. 10 to four, the early Scarlet Knights edge Northwestern searching for answers. Navarrete for Rousseau, Reed one more time, and finally finds it. Off the touch. Ryland Reed, 13 kills. He's been pretty efficient on the offensive end of things today. As Summers back to serve with the Wildcats, chasing five. Career high in kills for Reed as Summers serves long. She has really been in her element all night long. Absolutely, Noah. 
big part of the team this year has come along as the team has gone. And another one of those shorter attackers for Tim Nolan. You see Reed at 5'11", Hazan, as you mentioned, at 5'11", even someone like Lily Wagner at six foot. It's a very short lineup for Nolan, but they've been getting the job done. I haven't seen as much of Wagner today, but Reed and Hazan have definitely done the job. Reed, errant pass. Right into your hands there, Noah. Absolutely. The service ace for the Scarlet Knights, 12 to five, their advantage in set four. If I thought Gigi Navarrete could come over the table and get it, I would have let it go. <laughs> he would have backed up. It seemed a little too far for her. This time, her pass is clean. Reed, off the hands, another chance for the Wildcats. One more for Reed. They're feeding Ryland Reed, and Rutgers has it red. And then after a great dig from Allie Dutton, her teammates let her down, and Ryland Reed gets a kill out of it. And what interested me in that is you have Lauren Carter on the field, but the one doing all the setting was Drew right there in the middle. The, the libero doing a, uh, committing a bunch of bump sets and eventually got there. Rousseau rotates to the back row. She's the setter right now as she floats it low, handled by Hardison. Byzantine wipes it through the Northwestern hands and earns herself another kill. Every shot working right now for Rutgers. And it has been all Rutgers in the fourth set as they try to close it out. Northwestern took, barely took that first set but has not looked like themselves since. Rousseau across for Reed again, and it's 15 kills for Ryland Reed. Continuing to extend that career high. She's been the go-to all evening for Northwestern. And you got to imagine what this offense might look like next season without Rousseau. You see Reed coming in, Hazan both will be back, presumably. Reed serving deep. And Hardison delivers another kill. 11 on just 19 swings for Zora Hardison. Northwestern just can't get any purchase in this set, much like the second. Every time they've won a point, Rutgers has responded instantly. Hardison to serve. And Hardison into the net. There were Northwestern fans chanting air ball behind her. I think she might have gotten confused enough about the change in terminology that it forced the air. Yeah, you know, air ball, it's got the same meaning behind it, that they want a terrible miss, and uh, fans got that. True right with her team chasing six. Can the Scarlet Knights continue to execute on these side-out opportunities? They do. Alyssa Kinkala hasn't been the focus tonight for the Scarlet Knights. Still up to nine kills. Yeah, you know, we thought we talked early game, it's gonna be Kinkala. She has all these records and kills, whether that was in the game against Iowa or just overall on the season, top 20 in the Big Ten, but Rutgers empowering this younger generation. The youth is shown through for the Scarlet Knights for sure. Here's Borellis serving at Reed. Hazan, what a dig. That's incredible work by Deerstad. Summers this time. No covering that ball for Kenzie Deerstad. It's just deja vu right now for Northwestern, just like set two. They're getting their side outs, but unable to get themselves out of the early hole they dug. Rutgers just not making mistakes right now. And it's another clean kill for Natalie Robinson. And this looks like a new Rutgers team, Noah. We've been talking all season about how they've been relying on these few players. But really, as you're getting performances out of Hardison, out of Vistine, out of Jesuits, this Rutgers team has looked completely different from the team that you know hasn't gotten a, a win in Big Ten play quite yet. Nolan's going to take his final time out of the set. Northwestern senior night at Welsh Ryan Arena. See some excited kids in the crowd. Yeah, we see the elementary schools coming in, and that's part of the revolution of women's sports, retaking the media landscape. You see young girls all around the nation inspired by players like the volleyball players we have in front of us today. Absolutely right, Gabe. Noah Coffin alongside Gabe Shumway here on Big Ten Plus. Volleyball on the rise all over the country. No doubt about that, and it's happening here in Evanston as well. 
in the surrounding Chicago area, of course. Busey Hazan. Big time kill for the Wildcats. Hazan up to 14. Hazan back to serve. Wildcats in desperate need of a service run here at some point. We saw them go on a little scoring run late in the third set, trying to regain that magic now. Hazan down the line. Tough serve. Rutgers out of system. Byzantine still gets a solid swing off. Reed can't find the floor. And the block attempt goes out of play. It's another kill for Byzantine. That's double digits for Lexi Byzantine. Absolutely no end. Well, Sophia Summers has been historically good on block this season. It's clear that the Northwestern middle blockers have been struggling a bit tonight. They're missing Kennedy Hill, that's for sure. She had such a strong start to this game before being injured early in set two. Joust won by Hardison. Give her another kill. Rutgers trying to find that finish here. Seven points away from closing the show. Russo for Reed again, long. And now things starting to deteriorate for the Wildcats, chasing nine points. Yeah, Rutgers just six away from a match win now. Northwestern will try to hold them off, but it's clear there are some tired legs all around. <laughs> Sophia Summers. Bringing plenty of energy right there, nearly put a dent in the floor. Wildcats not done yet. And with that, Summers into the back row, Griffith into the front row, two middle blockers on the floor now. Oh, Hardison with a no look kill attempt, nearly got it to go. Tries again, this time no problems. 12 kills for Zora Hardison to go along with six blocks. Not to mention the three digs. Twenty eleven Rutgers. Can the Scarlet Knights close it out? Lily Bolin. Into the net. Plenty of pressure on the shoulders of these Rutgers players, hoping to break a drought of nearly 13 months without a Big Ten win. And Lily Bolin, the Rutgers setter, set a career high in assists at her high school. As Alexa Russo gets an ace. Wildcats not going quietly. Russo. Had a couple service runs off her left arm today, looking for another. This serve handled more easily. Great diving dig by number five. And Reed pays it off. Alexa Russo helping keep her team in this match. Yeah, showing that she can get it done on all sides of the ball, whether that's serving, whether that's getting those digs. That was a very impressive dig off of a tough hit. One dig off a season high for number five. Continues to do it all. Great sliding set, Rousseau. There is that season high. Ryland Reed blocked back again. Hardison ties her season high with seven blocks. Couldn't quite get the dig on that one. Rousseau also impressive at 6-3 being able to get down and lead the team in digs this evening. Byzantine to serve. Rutgers is tied their season high as a team with 14 blocks. And Byzantine into the net again. Wildcats trying to will themselves into a comeback here. Still chasing six. And Azan's coming back in to provide some much needed offense to this Cats team. Reed to serve, not always her strong suit. Delivers a great one there, but handled. Russo for Hassan blocked again. Unbelievable. 
Alyssa Kinkola with her seventh block. And just nothing will fall for this Cats team, even when they need it the most. Rutgers three points away from snapping the 17-game losing streak. 15 blocks, this Rutgers net play is something to see. Rousseau wants Randorf. Net violation on Rutgers. Wildcats needed that moment. Big mistake for the Scarlet Knights. That one went against Jesuits. 22-16. Wildcats still in desperate need of a service run. Overpass. Hazan takes care of it. Hazan was not going to let that slide, capitalizing on the very rare Rutgers mistake this evening. Got a talking to for supposedly yelling at the opposing bench. Right with the knuckler. Poor set, and the Wildcats get a chance, but have to play a free ball. That looks like a double contact, and it is. What a mistake for Ryland Reed there. The ball had some spin on it, to be sure. And the double contact is called. A little bit of a wait whistle. Wait, late whistle, pardon me, from our chair umpire. And looking for an explanation is Tim Nolan. As you see, Caitlin Schweighoffer talking with her team, coaching them through these last few points. Tim Nolan frustrated with the call. And now, Rutgers will sub. They are two points away from that first Big Ten win in 13 months. You can see on this set, watch the right hand of Reed get it a little bit later. You can see that ball rotating just a little as it comes across the net. So Cole, it's only really made on sets that go across now. Summers delivers through the middle. Sophia Summers, her ninth kill tonight. On the, great efficiency as well. The Wildcats still in need of that run. They've cut into the lead little by little. They need a big swipe now behind Lauren Carter. And there's an ace. Two aces for Carter. And a timeout for Rutgers. Caitlin Schweighoffer trying to cut off this Wildcat run. Half blocks per game just at three tonight. That has been the key part, and you see right there, Rutgers' most blocks of the season. That's been the difference maker. Dominating the net play are the Scarlet Knights. Wildcats still have time to try to change that narrative, but it's dwindling. Carter going long, missing. For the third time tonight, Northwestern has made a service error directly after a timeout. And you got to hear the frustration from Tim Nolan on that, trying to coach up his team, and they just get a little trigger happy after this timeout. And just like that, only one point separates Rutgers from the match victory. Allie Dutton, match point on her right hand. Handled by Hazan. Gets it back. Busse Hazan can't find the kill. What a diving dig. Another chance for Rutgers to win it. No, Sophia Summers, the first Wildcat block of set number four. She joins Rousseau. The third Wildcat in double digit kills, joining Rylan Reed and Buse Hazan. We'll count that up as a block actually, so Summers still a kill short. Oh, okay. Nine kills on 13 attacks. She's been so efficient tonight. Wildcats need a run on Hazan. Great dig by Carter. Here's Reed off the bump set. Got it, tooled the block. Wildcats three points away from forcing extra points. Feeling a little deja vu here. Same thing happened in the third set. Wildcats tried to mount a comeback, just couldn't get there. They'll try to keep it going. Hazan, hoping to continue serving tough for Northwestern. Towards the back row, bit of a miscommunication. Rutgers out of system, free ball comes across. Russo for Reed, delivers, no not quite. What a save for the Scarlet Knights, they scrambled it up. Reed again, that time finds it. 
extending her career high. 18 kills for Rylan Reed. Buse Hazan getting the crowd pumped up and a timeout for Schweighofer. Three in a row for the Cats. They were The Wildcats have struggled to serve out of timeouts game. Absolutely, no. you mentioned it before. Three timeouts with a service error right out of the gate. It will be Buse Hazan getting the serve for the Cats. Hazan to serve again. She'll try to correct the mistakes of her compatriots. Has to have a good one here. With the Wildcats two points away from leveling things in set number four. Floats it across. Another overpass! Ryland Reed takes advantage. What a mistake from Allie Dutton. And Reed is one kill off of 20. And Noah, just earlier we were praising Rutgers, making no mistakes in this fourth set, in the third set as well. And just like that, these overpasses, these miscues, miscommunications, and, and just like that, we're within one. Wildcats a point away from closing up a wild comeback. Big dig from Hazan. Ryland Reed one more time, this time covered. A chance for Rutgers, Hartman. Block touch. Wildcats out of system, Reed blocked! Rutgers wins it! By the skin of their teeth, another block to extend the season high for the Scarlet Knights, and they get their first Big Ten win in nearly 13 months. Yo, you know, you love the American Oh, you're an honor, I 